What's up? Okay. Alexa, I didn't say anything. Bye, Alexa. Sorry. I thought I heard my name. No, you didn't. I thought it would be fun for today's video to do like a cook slash bake with me because I suck at cooking. I'm not, okay, I'm not bad if you give me a recipe, but I ain't gonna lie, I mess up more than I um, probably should, but that's okay. So I thought this would be a fun series to start and then if you guys like this one, you can let me know and then I can just like keep getting harder and we can just keep trudging along. But today I thought we'd make some um, sheet pan s'mores, which sounds fun. I love s'mores. Who doesn't, you know? Got my Mountain Dew Baja Blast with my uh, reusable straw. Save the world, people. Okay, we're ready to go. I've got my oven preheating for 400 degrees. So that's the first step, preheat your oven. Second step, I like to get all my ingredients and like lay them all out for myself because if I don't, I will forget something. And that's just a tragedy for all of us. First thing you need, crescent roll dough. Like uh, Pillsbury or any other brand that you want to use. But the crescent roll dough, just one can. Then we need Hershey's chocolate bars. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And I'm sure you could probably use any chocolate you want, but I'm going to go by the book and do this because it's, you know. But I'm sure you could probably use like Reese's. You could use like dark chocolate Hershey's. You can use white chocolate Hershey's. You can do whatever the heck you want. But following the book, it's milk chocolate Hershey's. Uh, the six pack. Six full size. Flaw chocolate. Then we got jet puffed marshmallows. And then the coating that goes on the crescent roll dough is sugar. Why is this so big? Sugar and cinnamon. So it's a mix. And then we're gonna put that on the crescent roll dough. Pan. Second step, line it with wax paper. Cool, cool, cool. Then we gotta unroll our crescent dough. I suck at doing these. Where's the end? Okay. I'm gonna take our crescent roll. That did nothing. There we go. Alright, and then keep it in one big sheet and then roll it out onto your pan. Hello, where's the end of this? I don't like the feeling of this. Not a fan. And lay it down on your paper. Roll that B out. And then we gotta pinch the sides. So many questions that I We're gonna pinch your sides. So then it like it makes like a crust type thing and holds all the shiz in there. So we're gonna do that. Now we gotta mix our sugar and our cinnamon. So I suggest you get yourself a little bowl. Do two spoonfuls of sugar, like half a spoonful of cinnamon. Mix them up, and if that looks to your what you want it to be, then do that. Hello. I'm just gonna put this in here because screw this spoon. Sprinkle that in there. Mix it. And then when you think it's to your liking of cinnamon to sugar ratio, make sure it's all mixed. And then you're just literally gonna like sprinkle it onto your crescent dough. Like edges base everything. So many questions that I wanna ask. We've got it all sugar cinnamon up and I'm gonna do like a little iPhone video of what it's looking like so far and then when my thing heats up to 400, it's almost there. 
Uh, and then we're gonna put this in for 10 minutes and let the crust like, oh, hello. Let the crust like brown up and get all crispy. So basically you just fold your sides in if you weren't able to see that. And then you literally just coat it. I did not do a great coating job, but it's fine. So as you can see, I've got everything lined. So you just do these in a single layer and then the chocolate bars are underneath. Um, so this is one layer and that's another row of the chocolate bars. So yeah, you just line them all up, put them on there. So you keep your oven at 400 um, and you just put these back in for another 10 minutes or however golden brown you want your marshmallows or however melted you want your chocolate. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I dub them. I don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust you. <laughs> we did it. Look how it looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited. You just did another 10 minutes at 400 in the oven, and it's all melty together. It's all bronzed, babe, and we're ready to cut into it and try it. So I just got a little, like, steak knife. Alexa, I didn't ask for you! Hmm, I don't know that one. I don't know why she has come up twice now. I didn't say her name the first time. Okay, I just got a little sharp knife. And I'm gonna cut it into like little sections. And then I got my little spatula that we're gonna put it on a plate. And then we'll see how this babe tastes. so we can try it and then I'll let it cool and cut the rest later. Here we go, we got a little plate. <laughs> Hello? This is bomb. 10 out of 10 if you like s'mores. That's good guys. It's really good. I highly recommend this. 
I found it on Pinterest, but I will definitely write down all the directions in the description. And then I'll also put it on my blog in case anybody wants to look at it there. And my blog is in like, like on my header, if you go to my channel on my header, to the right it'll have like icons and my blog's the first one. Or it's always down in the description too. So, sheet pan s'mores, 10 out of 10. Do recommend you make these, they're really easy, really fun. Let me know if you like this type of video. I wanted to do like a little bit different of one for this Friday and I thought this would be really fun. So if you want me to do any more cooking or baking videos, let me know. We can get harder as we go. Send me your pictures or reviews if you do make these and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!